Hey everybody, Gus here, RC Crane Parts. Uh, this a little look what I've been doing here with this, put the spreader bar together uh, yesterday. Just kind of a rough deal. Uh, we'll be making some improvements to it, but for now it seems to be working pretty good. Got uh, uh, got picking eyes on the outside, and some inboard ones here. Rope hooked up to it. Got some shoes to. So it stands up when you lay it down, it doesn't flop over. Uh, got some actual rigging. See some shackles there. You can see them, but actual shackles. And some wire rope. Going up to a synthetic sling. So uh, pretty, uh, pretty accurate rigging there. Um, <clears throat> did cut out a new counterweight. So we're running about 1,400 tons of counterweight on the upper here, another about 250 on the lower. So we're running like 1,650, 1,700 tons, so that's a lot of counterweight. But this is a big rig, right? Got to have a lot of counterweight. Love a big ass on that rig, don't you? So anyways, I'm going to pick this up, swing it around and put it up on the, uh, the table with parts table here. As you can see, there's uh, some cranes here getting ready to get put together. So. Gonna land right here in this spot right here, so get in my trusty tripod here. Okay. And uh yeah. Let's get ready to hoist this load. As you can see the boom is up in the rafters. See that, but uh, I got that light right there. But the boom was like way up in the rafters there, so I'm gonna have to do some maneuvering to get out of there. You don't want to swing into a, a stationary object because that's how you fry gearboxes, swing gearboxes. That is so, I'm all about that. So, we're coming up, gonna swing a little bit to the right. Down while I'm doing that, swinging, left and down. Hmm. I think that's good. And it lost power. You pause this for one second, see what the problem is. Apparently a mystery. I walked over there and started working again, so I don't know. Thought maybe batteries and transmitter are running down, but let's continue with this pick. So I'm hoisting and swinging. Kind of thought it might have been a contact problem, but I don't know. So I swing down a little bit with that hoist catch up. To readjust the camera right here. Yeah, I'd say let's bring the camera on the other side. Rest up. Still swinging. Okay. All right. Picture of the uh, machine suspended. The air. And we're still swinging. I'm going to have to eventually put the swing on a stick, but I don't have a stick that springs back to neutral right now that I could use. Because you have a tendency to uh, keep swinging. So, let's go over here. Okay, hoist. You see the uh, it's top of the luffer there. This table is probably at about 100, I don't know, 100. 
50 foot elevation, 140 foot elevation from the ground, something like that. So swinging over. Got a high speed swing there. Okay. I'm going to um, let that load down a little bit, not too far. More. Okay, got spreader bar. Okay, pick that up. I'm gonna swing it over now. Try and get it in that little spot there. A little rough, I know. Okay, left and up, place and down. Touch the spring right there. So we can get her down there. Nice, she's down. Okay, that's it for now. I'm trying to keep this video short, six minutes, a little bit longer than I wanted, but again, uh, we're sitting up on the parts table. Another quick look at this. In case you're interested, this is the uh the mega rig here. This is gonna be like a uh, I don't know, like a five thousand ton or if I ever when I do work on it, that's just a rough prototype. Uh, anyways, that's the old buffer bottom with the plastic boom, uh, lower. Booms, ready to go. Some bottoms, lowers, more boom, wear pads right there, uh, washers, mm, a lot of pieces, a lot of bearings, a lot of gears. So, there you go. Alright, thanks for watching. See you later.